Our bodies can do a lot of amazing things, but sometimes it feels like they fall a little bit short. From acne to out of control anger, it can seem like our bodies are working against us. But we'll show you how some of the things you hate are actually things that you should be thankful for. One cool thing your body can do is hit the subscribe button and then turn on your notifications from the hub. Color blindness. Being colorblind might mean that you struggle to pick out clothing or you feel embarrassed you can't spot the number in a series of dots, but it can also mean you can spot camouflage things better. People who have the most common type of color blindness, red-green colorblind, can easily spot the differences in texture, shapes, and brightness, while other people are too distracted by similar looking colors. Just because most people think that being colorblind would be terrible doesn't mean it's actually a disadvantage. Acne. One of the silver linings to getting older is finally growing out of that awkward teenage acne. If you thought that your acne was stymieing your social life as a teen, you might be right and that might actually be a good thing. Some scientists theorize that we evolved to get acne during puberty in order to stop us from mating until we were better suited to make a good selection in a mate. Once you're older, you're more mature emotionally, intellectually, and physically, and thus you're better equipped to raise a child than you were as an acne-covered teen. Social behavior. If seeing someone else throw up makes you feel nauseous as well, here's why. Back when our ancestors were all sharing food, one person getting sick often meant that they had all eaten something unhealthy. So your body responding to this site by also throwing up means that it's trying to protect you by getting the presumably tainted food out of your system ASAP. Brain freeze. The scientific term for brain freeze is sphenopalatine ganglioneurgyra, and it happens because our bodies are actually trying to protect us. Your brain receives a signal that says it's freezing, so it responds by increasing blood flow to the brain in order to keep it functioning in the cold. Yes, it hurts, but if this wasn't a drill, you'd be really glad your body had this ability. Memories. When we have a strong reaction to a specific word, image, or experience, some of us would call that being triggered. Having a certain scent remind you of your ex that broke your heart can seem like your brain is pulling a real cruel trick on you. But evolution-wise, it's essential to how we survive. Your brain remembering something bad that happened to you the last time you were in such a situation helps ensure that you will make different decisions in the future. Anger. Being angry shouldn't be enjoyable, but somehow feeling mad makes us feel optimistic. Although this seems like an incentive to hold a grudge, it also stimulates the areas of your brain responsible for motivating you. This makes you feel like you can actually deal with whatever is making you so furious, and it can really help you get things done more than feeling happy and complacent would. Tasting. Did you hate the taste of beer or coffee the first time you tried it? You can blame your taste buds for that. The reason we perceive so many foods as bitter is because we have a natural aversion to bitterness as well as certain odors. This can limit the foods we eat, but it also helps us avoid showing down on toxic plants that we might have otherwise ingested. Embarrassment. Most of us would do anything to avoid being put in an embarrassing situation, and you've probably cursed your brain at some point for flooding you with unpleasant feelings or shame. While it's no fun being in an embarrassing situation, the same part of your brain that makes you feel that way also helps you recognize and avoid actually dangerous situations. It's just keeping your flight or fight responses limber. Psychic numbing. Psychic numbing is a phenomenon that means the larger a tragedy is, the less we're personally affected by it. It's why sometimes people on your Facebook feed seem way more broken up by a celebrity passing away than a catastrophic natural disaster. Our brains have a really hard time relating to large-scale tragedies, but this also prevents us from feeling too fatigued by them to act in smaller-scale ways over situations we can actually help. Crying. Wouldn't babies be so much more pleasant if they didn't cry all the time? Colicky babies wail frequently, which seems really horrible until you realize that it's just because their brains are developing so quickly that they can't yet regulate their emotions. It seems like they're crying for no reason, but they're really crying because their brains are developed at a rapid rate. Hopefully, this has given you an all-new appreciation for all of the seemingly awful things that your body does. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Hub for more content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.